my name is Miss Preston. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a paper airplane that flies pretty far. The two things that you're going to need is a paper clip if you want. It doesn't have to have a paper clip um, and you're going to need a piece of paper. You can use any type of paper. I am using regular white paper, but you don't have to. It just needs to be in a rectangle shape. So I know a lot of you have um, paper bags from grocery shopping. You can cut a rectangle out of those. You can use, um, maybe you've done a worksheet at home that you know you're done with, that you're all finished. Um, you could use that. You could use um, really anything. You can use newspaper, anything like that will work. Okay. I'm going to be teaching you how to make a paper airplane that flies pretty far. The two things that you're going to need is a paper clip if you want. It doesn't have to have a paper clip um, and you're going to need a piece of paper. You can use any type of paper. I am using regular white paper, but you don't have to. It just needs to be in a rectangle shape. So I know a lot of you have um, paper bags from grocery shopping. You can cut a rectangle out of those. You can use, um, maybe you've done a worksheet at home that you know you're done with, that you're all finished. Um, you could use that. You could use um, really anything. You can use newspaper, anything like that will work. All right. So the first step that you need to do for your paper airplane is to fold your paper in half. You're folding it in half the um, hot dog way, you would say. So you're going to fold this corner to this corner, this corner to this corner. Try to get them to match up pretty exactly. Take your time on this. You're going to match up your corners. And once those are matched up, you're going to hold that and use your other hand to fold. And I find it really helpful if you use your fingernail to push down your crease. So that will get a really good crease going. Then you're going to unfold your paper that you've already folded. And you're going to fold this corner to the middle. And let me show you, I'm going to fold it and then I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So. When you fold the corner down, you want this side to match up with the middle. And don't get frustrated, it's okay. Try, try your, take your time, try your best. If you need help, ask for it. And then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So you're gonna take the other side and you're gonna match it up exactly with that part that you've already made. See how I'm holding it with one hand and creasing it with the other? Then I might take my thumbnail and crease it some more so it's nice and sharp. So your airplane should look like this. Your next step would be to fold this part, top part down. So you're going to take this corner and you're gonna line it up with that middle line, that point, and you're going to fold it at the top. Again, make your crease so it should look something like this. It looks like a letter. Now we're going to do those same steps again. So we're going to take this corner and we're going to fold it so that it lines up exactly with that middle line. So we're also lining it up with this point here. So we have one side and then we're going to do it to the other side. And you can turn your paper around if it's easier. You can move it around. And we have this shape. This pentagon. One, two, three, four, five sides. Now, we need to make the wings of our airplane. So we're actually going to do something similar again. We're going to take this corner and we're going to fold it. This is really hard because the top is pretty sturdy now, um, which is good. That will make a good airplane, but it's a little bit trickier. So you're going to pull that down and you're going to line this edge up with that middle line again. Definitely trickier because it's a little bit harder to fold, so you're just kind of pushing it down. But again, do your 
fingernail crease. So it should look like that. And do it on the other side. All right, so you have a shape that looks like this. You're almost done. Now you're going to, so these tabs are open on the front. You're gonna fold it backwards. And if you grab it inside here, then these flaps will open and you have your airplane. If you want to, you do not have to. If you want to, you can take a paper clip and put it right here near the nose. Whoops. Like this, just so it stays together a little bit better. But it is not necessary. We'll still fly without a paper clip. So let's go see how it flies. Hope your airplane flew you should measure to see how far it went maybe or have races with maybe your siblings or someone at home the other thing you can do is you can decorate your paper airplane so I decorated mine I use bright colors because I wanted to make it look fast but you could do anything you could put hearts on it you could draw little people inside you could um, put racing stripes on it and it's your design you should decorate it any way you want also remember you can use any type of paper so I want to know what paper works best so see if you make it out of newspaper if it will go further or if you do make it out of paper bags let me know um, the other thing is you can change up the design so there are lots of different paper airplane designs online or you could just do some folding and see if you can make an airplane that works even better. If you do though, I want you to send it to me because I wanna know how to make an awesome airplane. I hope that you like this video and I'll see you next time.